Hey everyone, what's up? This is Ryan, and welcome back to the Chrysalis Part 2 walkthrough series. Today, we are going to explore Morgamp's memories of our past, or dreams, whichever. It's gonna be tough, we might oppose as her, we don't know yet. I think we might. So let's go in. And also we have to do this solo, so it's gonna be a bit difficult. Alright, what should we do first? Morganth, are you listening to me? What the? Huh? Do what I say. Oh, and I'm Morganth. Will fall. I have no patience to watch the people suffer while he dithers. I gazed upon the divining treasure, and it showed me the land will wither under his rule. The old way, the old king, is gone. This toothless. Bear, let's too many foes nip at his heels. The people need a new, strong sword to follow. Once I sabotage his armor, the next friendly duel he accepts will be his last. Only Mallory would see there is another way. The Froudling magic holds the key to getting what we want without hurting anybody. You are meeting a Spriggan here? I will not treat with those dishonorable savages. You will not treat with whom, Poxy Knight? I have brought the horned crown that Lady Morganth requested. It is potent magic of darkness and shadow. You have my reward. Foul creature, your reward will be my blade. Really? Okay, this is strange. Oh, we have spells like her. Interesting. Well, we gotta get set up and start attacking. This is not gonna be easy. Boost? Really? Oh, this might be a bit... This might get a little bit hard. Hmm. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, I gotta find a vampire and fast. All right, here I go. Try this on for size. Hey, that did a lot of damage. Nice. How do you like it? Haha. <laughs> you betray our pact, may your victory turn to ashes! Morganth, take the horned crown and hide it away. I must go and ensure Arturius' armor is not fit for battle. If for whatever reason my plan is spoiled, then you must use the horn crown to enslave the king. Brother, if your plan goes awry, I, I can hop on an Avalon without you. Well, we have the horn crown. The horn crown contains a power I've not encountered in any of Merle Ambrose's teachings. It twists and turns by itself. I wonder. 
wonder if Ambrose has any theory of it inscribed in his tomes of forbidden knowledge. Go, little sister, and prepare. I will see you when all of this is done and but a memory. Okay. Are you recovered from the first dream? Enter the second chamber of the mind. Another time, another place, another dream. Remember, these are true things, but Morgan's age and temperament color them. Adept Morganth, do you know why you were sent here? Can you fathom uh -oh. the chaos and pain you caused? What toll now you in the second cost us? Of course I know why I'm here, you prattling fool. I failed. Not for breaking the rules. Because I bungled it openly. Ugh. If it had not been for the swift intervention and ceaseless aid of Sylvia and myself, Wizard City might be a smoldering ruin. You think the Astral Schools are playthings and the Spiral Worlds a game board or laboratory to practice upon? Aren't they? Someone needs to understand the boundaries of the Spiral and figure out which rules can be bent and which broken. Okay. Your punishment is a suspension of magical studies for the immediate future. Give me your wand. What? My wand? You pompous arrogance! Oh, you're going down, Malister. I'll give you my wand. Time to get set up. Die already! Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot.
What the? More skill, but there is much left for you to learn, impudent child. Okay. Enough. What is going it's on? Marlon Ambrose. Malister Morganth. Enough of this madness. Malister, I expected you to handle this prudently, not to wage war on each other. And Morganth. Oh, Morganth. You disappoint me. Headmaster, I was only teaching Morganth how little she knows. Never mind, Malister. Asking you to censure Morganth was my failing, as was my inability to teach her caution and mercy. Morganth, for placing Ravenwood in dire jeopardy, and for your utter lack of remorse, there can be only one punishment. I must take away your wand and your deck of spells. Uh. No, 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 don't you dare! Don't you think that you can do this to me for one second? I won't let you. I can't live without my magic. And expel you from Ravenwood. May you find your true self out in the spiral. No! We must all learn our lessons from this tragic series of events, or else we will be doomed to repeat them. You look pale and unsteady. Will you be all right? Yeah. It is time to enter the third and final chamber of the mind. As I've said before, these are true things, but memory is a fickle and unreliable partner. As promised, we found a world of wonders and untapped riches, did we not? Who was eager to disembark? Shame you didn't want to stay longer at the Alcazar. Those burrowers had some lovely jewels and artwork. Fetch a pretty penny. Still, after we see what this hive has to offer, whether its primitives can teach you the magic you seek, we can go back there. Blasted astral magic. Too slippery to grasp. Swear I'll master it one day, or burn the lot of it to ash. With luck, you'll get a nice shiny deck of cards from these arachna magi. And me crew will be able to explore. What have we here? Trespassers in the recluse chamber? Summon the Arachnus Skinners. Do not let them escape. No, no, you don't understand. I'm a simple Skyway captain, and this is me charge, Lady Morgan. And we are looking for. Die, Burrow Scum. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Well, you know the strategy. I know the strategy. This might take a while.
I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Oh, what do you know? Maddie healed. That was lucky. Oh, that almost got him. I'm not gonna make this. I'm so not gonna make this. Oh. Oh. No. Oh no. I I, I didn't live. No. I lost. I can't believe it. I lost. Okay, I'm gonna re I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back into the battle and then I'll at the end I'll catch you all later. Welcome back everybody. I just we that was close. We we're just about to finish them, so I'm about to pass. They're just about to be finished. That was hard. Be running before too late. Ah, the intruders. You cannot escape the shadow web. Once we deal with you, we will find your ship and your crew and hang them up. Surrender, and I can ensure you feel little pain. Be pleased that you shall feed the next generation of warriors. Skip, hold your weapon. Take the pathetic rat away to do as you like. But we wish to examine this strange one. 
That does not sound good. She may prove to be the one we are searching for. The chosen one of the Grand Prophecy, if she survives the testing. Okay, after a couple failures, we finally got it. It is over, Spellbinder. Oh, glad to be out of that one. From here, you must travel to the Mantis capital of Sardonyx. Use this crystal to illuminate the teleporter to hasten your voyage. Right. I'm almost done. Young wizard, I am thrilled by the progress you have made. Simply look at this place. Gorgeous, wonderful, scintillating. You have restored two of the great astral artifacts of this world. The moon and stars. Once you fix up the solar arc, I'm sure there's no way for Morgath to maintain her grip on this world. Have you found it yet? Yeah, I think we have. Spellbinder, the solar arc lies in the badlands of the Conda Desert, beyond the city of Sardonyx. I see. It has been lost to us since Morganth proclaimed it forbidden to all. Yeah. I am sending you to an ally of Radiance Reborn, to an order of monks devoted to star magic. Ask them about the so travel solar to the arc. city of Sardonyx. Bring word to the monks that Radiance is reborn, and they can help you find the solar arc. Yeah. Well, we just got our new global spell. That's pretty cool. All right, now we can. Man, I <coughs> I couldn't survive. Here we go. Hang on. Just gonna wait for it to. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. What the? As in Bastion, the mana globe seemed to flicker and awaken, responding to your presence. What the? Hey, wait for me. Where are we? Oh, and the Serenity. Oh, so. You need a priest. Sorry, the shrine is closed and orders of the Umbra Legion. Oh, you were sent by the spirit caretaker of Radiance Reborn? Did those mana globes activate on your arrival? Oh, oh my! You're a. Are, are you? I had heard rumors from across the sea, but never believed a word. You know, soldiers are... Oh, oh my! There's not a moment to lose. Come, follow me outside. You got it. So, all right, now we're in the Serena Docks. Or, Sardinox. I am Ezekiel the Lucent, and this is the city of Zotike Zangzion. City of Sardonyx. Sardonyx? How can I best help you? The solar arc. That's just a story. Well, never mind. Uh, of course we can find it. We need to rally support for that endeavor by sending a signal to the city. The Mystic Colossus could be such a sign. However, the statue was taken to Deadleaf Tower by Zuska the Swirling Leaf. Can you recover it? Of course. Well, uh, give me, just give me a sec. All right, that wraps it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. It's always appreciated. Next time we will be exploring the Sarnox and see what we can do there. So have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.